This is for the MMA Hardcore and YouTube channel. Today we've got a special guest, Chaos Williams, who's making quite a big splash in the UFC's welterweight division. He's won two of his last fights by Vicious KOs, and we are lucky enough to have him here speaking to us through Skype a few days before the fight. So how are you doing, Chaos? Feeling good, man. Feeling strong. You know, I'm blessed, man. I'm just ready to go out there Saturday morning, you know, continue to... Uh... Write, 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 you know what I'm saying? Write another page to this book, man, my legacy. Yeah, definitely, man. And that was one of the first questions I wanted to have for you, is the power that you have in that octagon, has that always been natural, or is that something that's grew with you, with you training over time? I mean, it, it's been natural. You know, the first time I knocked somebody out clean, I was 14 years old. So this is definitely a God-given talent, but I have got stronger. I have got stronger. Um, you know, my IQ have got better as far as fighting, just everything, man. You know, I'm a well-rounded fighter. I haven't really got to show it. Um, people that know me know, you know. But, uh, yeah, man, you know, it's definitely something that uh, just grew, continue to, it was God-given talent, and then just continue to grow over time, you know, just kept chiseling it, kept getting better. Yeah, definitely, man. So how long have you been training MMA for? When did you start? Um, six years. Uh, six years in total. Six. Yeah, I started doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu at first, and from there I end up uh, competing. I ended up having an MMA, my first amateur fight, and I just fell in love with it. I've been a professional three years now, but actively I've been fighting for five years, but I started six years ago. That's amazing, man. What inspired you to start doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? Was it a fight, or was it just to get fit and see? Uh, so really, really, really it was, you know, I was, I was more of a street fighter and a boxer. Somebody basically told me, like, man, you want to get your ground game right. You want to you wanna start working on your ground game. And, you know, I end up, uh, the city that I was in, luckily, we had an instructor who was pretty good and knew somebody that I knew. And, you know, I just jumped in there, man, blind, with some blind faith, and I got all over the world knowing my name. That's awesome, man. And, I, and we know you're from Detroit, and you're quite proud to say that, yes? Yeah. So what was it like growing up in Detroit? If you can give us a little bit of an insight into your background. Man, I grew up. Hold up. Can you still see me? All right, there we go. See, think about me, man. Like I was born, I was originally born in Indiana. But mm -hmm. I was like coming up, uh, coming up, my mom, like, you know, she she got some trouble and stuff. Well, my mom, she went to prison when I was four years old. So when my mom going to prison and stuff, me and her got separated. So I went from like one family member to the next family member, stuff like that. So I was all bouncing around. I ended up ending up in North Carolina. Then I ended up moving up to Jackson, Michigan. Jackson, Michigan, that's why I ended up moving to Detroit. And uh, you know, the thing about Detroit, man, you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. That's true. That's true. And it's crazy, you know, because when I first started the MMA Hardcore page, I put a post up saying for fighters to send in their footage, and I'd be happy to share it on the page. You were the first shout out we ever done on the page. And it was you knocking out, uh, I don't even know the guy's name. I don't even know if he's still alive after that knockout. Um, <laughs> you, you were the first shout out we ever done on the page. And you said you were going to go into the UFC, and I've still got the messages. Um, yeah. And and then to see you in the UFC, and now to see how well you're doing, man. I mean, another knockout on Saturday, and you could quite well be, who knows, you know, uh, up there in the top five for the next title shot. Um, yeah. you're quite a big splash, man, and I'm excited. Yeah, man, I appreciate that too, man. I definitely remember that. You know, that's another reason why I did this interview, man. You know, I got a lot of uh, people trying to get interviews, man. But, you know, I'm grateful, and I always remember, I always remember, man. I never forget about the people. It'd be, it'd be the little thing sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, you shared the video. You know, a lot of people were, uh, the, the video went viral, but it was some people who was just looked at it. You get what I'm saying? But, you know, the work always gonna speak for itself. We here now, and I mean, come Saturday, if I can get the knockout, hey, that's a blessing, I'm happy. Like you said, we shooting all the way up here. I probably wouldn't say top five, definitely uh, top 25, maybe 15, you know, could be with all these cuts and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm just, I'm just steady going up here, man. Ain't no rush. Yeah, ain't no rush. And you know what it's like nowadays, so with the with the fashion that you're ending your fights, and, you know, that's what people want to see. That's what Dana wants to see. We know that's what Dana wants to see. So if you get another one on Saturday, you know, Dana might just boost you up there. But, of course, there's no rush. You don't want to be thrown at the deep end. This is your journey, and um, you just want to make sure you're taking the right steps, you know. 
Definitely, man. And on top of that, like, you know, like you said, I want to take the right steps. Like me, me, I'm a human being. You know, we all human beings. So me, I fight anybody. I fight anybody at the right time. But it's all about timing. That's what that's what that's what's most important. It's all about timing. And sometimes uh in life Sometimes when you get something too fast, it could be a blessing. And I, it, I mean, it could be a curse, not a blessing. You get what I'm saying? Like, I could fight for the title tomorrow, and I might that might not be my time to fight for it. You get what I'm saying? Not only that, fighting certain people, they got to pay me what I'm worth. You know what I mean? So at the, at the same time, I got to build up. I got to let people know what I'm worth. You know, I'm, I'm about to just go in there and fight a top 10 guy right now, and I'm making this amount, and he making it. Shoot, three, four times what I'm making. You know, it just don't make no sense. I'm going to fight for my life too. That's completely true, man. You want to build up to that, and of course, take your time because yeah, you don't want to jump in uh, too quickly. You want to build your brand a little bit before you start fighting for the, exactly, the big man. fight. I need, to, I need the people knowing me, man. I need the world knowing my name, become a household name. You know, continue to put the work in, continue to test these chins, drop these bodies, do these interviews. You know. Um, you know, just keep showing my name out there, man. Let's get, keep getting these news articles popping. You know, keep getting these fifty thousand uh, dollar uh, performance bonuses. You know, you know, really, man, just keep winning. You know, just keep winning, and just, you know, keep networking. You know, and uh, yeah, man, just gotta, I gotta let it be known, man. That's correct, man. And I've got another question for you. So, Michael Pierre, this is your opponent on Saturday. Do you see him as your toughest opponent to date so far? No, not really. You know, I, I mean, I don't look past him. You know, but at the end of the day, um, I know he's going to be tough. Everybody's going to be tough. We in the UFC. You better be tough if you're going to be in the UFC or you're going to get kicked out this boy. So. That's right. At the end of the day, man, I know he ain't human being. I know he coming. Shoot. He, I feel like I feel like the pressure is on him more than it's on me. He got to worry about what I'm going to do. Yeah, definitely. And especially when we seeing such little footage of you in the octagon, you know, I'm sure you've got many uh, tricks in your toolbox that you've not had the chance to show. Um, so, yeah, the, de the pressure is definitely on him. I agree. Now, what you say um, on your social media is, is not personal. It's just punishment. Is that right? Where did that come from? And are you going to start saying it in the octagon when you get your knockouts? When, when always, Joe can interview you? I've been saying it for years now. I mean, it just came to me. You know how I heard the saying, it's not personal, it's just business, right? And, you know, I kind of took the business and just whooped per with punishment. I, mean, I put my own sauce on it. You know, I put my own sauce on it. Now I got it on my shirt. Look. Dude, that's cool, man. Yeah, you got your own shirt. You got your own merch. That's yeah. looking good. You see? It's, it's not, not personal, personal, just punishment. <laughs> All on the shirts, man, and they could find the shirts in the link on uh my Instagram. It's right there in the link. Yep, man, we'll give you Bye, yo. excellent, man. And um, to be honest, chaos. I think that's all the time we're going to take from you today. We know you're a busy guy. We appreciate you taking the time to do this interview with us. And um, have you got any final words for your fans? And if you want to shout out your Instagram, your Facebook, your YouTube channel, we're going to drop all them in the links on the description, guys. So make sure you to follow us. Follow Chaos Williams, and here he is with his last words. Take it away, Chaos. First off, man, I just want to thank all my supporters. I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. Uh, you know, Saturday, man, we're about to continue to go to work. We're about to, we're about to be great, man. We're about to test another chin out. Uh, you know, shout out to my sponsors, Fusion CBD, uh, Crush Energy, uh, you know, Simmons Academy of Wrestling, AAA Real Estate, you know, Red Diamond Real Estate. Also, uh, add me. If you haven't already, add me on uh, Instagram at K-H-A-O-S Williams. That's all one word. Add me on Twitter at K-H-A-O-S O-X Williams. So Instagram, Chaos Williams. Twitter, Chaos Ox Williams. 